Greetings, everybody. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 112 of Wendigos, which originally streamed live on Twitch. So we can hold up to a thousand wood, but let me pick other things that I'd prefer to have over the wood first. The recon stuff, because we can melt it down. Um, forget the the butcher table. Hey, Banlish! Merry Christmas to you, man. Thank you for the raid. You were playing some PZ. How are you liking the uh, the newest PZ update? I uh, I think it's wonderful. I think the game is better than it has ever been, and it is in just it's in incredible shape. Um, obviously, the biggest there's two features that are like I really, really, really eagerly want to have, which is the um, NPCs, and that would be incredible. And then armored vehicles, and both have been teased. But if Project Zomboid stopped development today, I'd be happy. It's just amazing. It's in amazing shape. How are you liking it? You're loving it? That's awesome. You're watching a ton of my playthroughs? Yeah, I'm... A, I'm um, I have to figure out the scheduling, because uh, my schedule oddly filled up as Trustin can attest to, but I'm, I'm planning on doing a bit of a co-op with Trustin later on in the week. Uh, Trustin's uh, a streamer and a YouTuber, so we're going to have a bit of a co-op where it's going to be two different uh, points of view. And um, that should be a lot of fun. I'm very eager. I it's whew, The changes they made to the map, though, oh my god. Just incredible. Project Zomboid is uh, just wow. It just really it wows me. Nothing short of incredible. Uh, but here we are. We are... Uh, so, so what I'm working on is I'm destroying some enemy bases. I just destroyed three, so let me update that. I only have two left. Ray two settlements. And host the prison. So I'm going to high prioritize haul. Ah, oh, so itchy. High prioritize hauling. Banlish, what was your uh, favorite Christmas gift this Christmas? Did you do anything special? Or just uh, time with the wife? Not that that wouldn't be special. Okay, that sounded really rude. <laughs> I apologize to you and your wife. Or your partner? I'm going to call him partner. I shouldn't assume that people are married. How? You're done with your streak in what, February? So you're down to like... Uh, Double digit days, right? Oh, three days. I thought it was in February. I think that's because of all the twos. Because it was like two, 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 right? So three days. Wow. Um, let me write a little note to my future self. Hang on. It is. So that will be the 29th. It's the 26th. One, two. So Wednesday, you're done. Is that it? Awesome, man. Well, congrats. That's uh, that's a hell of uh, an accomplishment. <laughs> I I couldn't uh, I couldn't do it. Oh, sorry, Slast. I forgot to undraft you. Let's fix those fine meal meals, leaving mallet on literally everything. And everybody else back on their normal assignment. Um, Viper's not here, yeah. So I don't have to restrict him from the drugs. So, to fill you guys in, if you're familiar with RimWorld, I'm just going to assume you are. Uh, I have five prisoners that I'm hosting at an outpost. An outpost that was really never intended to have occupants. And I have a drug-addicted uh, murder fiend here. Guarding them. It's really a terrible, terrible setup because Viper has no ability to do medicine. And anytime they do a prison break, uh, yeah, that could honestly uh, end up being pretty awful. Uh, the goals of this series was to purge the northern continent of settlements. It had something like, I don't know, 30 or 25, some ballpark like that. And obviously they're all gone except for my allies that are left. And right now what I'm working on is I have a little trade outpost down here and I'm just murdering... 
uh, the settlements around here too. So I have two left to do. I have the Boa Bor Bar Bay Crag or whatever that is, and the Happiness Campsite. So both of those are going to get purged. Once those are purged, I'm going to be doing the reactor raids. I don't know how much time I'm going to have left in the stream, but the reactor raids are pretty exciting when it comes to RimWorld because you get attacked uh, continually for uh, 10 days. So that will be probably pretty spicy. Coughs in knife outside prison. Yeah, there's a lot of weapons right outside the prison. I'm almost baiting them. There's even a gun, guns rather, and multiple knives. But the prison is here, so as long as there's no weapons available to the prisoners, they have to break containment. Which is why I'm not that concerned. And I do know that the crank gun has a bayonet, and you also have fangs. I understand, dude. Every time I raid someone else, I'm, uh, I'm like immediately running to the bathroom and then going to eat. I totally get it. So thank you for the raid, and I'll, uh, I'll definitely see you Wednesday. Um, if, if my schedule align, I, I have some annoying things to do Wednesday. I've had a, uh, what I'm pretty sure is a false alarm health scare just as a result of, um, I don't, know, I don't even know what it is. But, uh, Wednesday I'm gonna get a echocardiogram and, you know, get my heart checked out. Because I had some weird weirdness happen to me over uh, the last week or so. But I think, uh, I think it was all. False positive. Be safe and healthy. Oh, I'm being monitored. I got a I got a heart monitor on right now. Tracking every tick, you know? I am I'm bionic. <laughs> I'm as not quite as bionic as Viper. But uh <laughs> I got uh, got my own little bionics. <laughs> I could pod host some of that pod st uh plasteel. So actually the the plan was to have the raid caravan um, Glitch and his Merry Band of Raiders uh, swing by the home caravan to pick up the Plasteel when it was ready to go. I don't know if that's exactly what I'm going to do at the end of all this, but we'll see. Robo Red. I know. Yeah, I, I really don't know what it was. I speculated initially that it was like a bad uh, vaccine reaction, but in hindsight, I just didn't have the right symptoms for that to be true. So I really don't know what it is. A viral reaction? Not a clue. Something like that. Whatever it is, it was unwelcome. I already have a stockpile at the outpost for tainted clothes. We just haven't used it yet much because Viper's just been busy. I don't know where to put these chairs. I'll just put them... i just put them here. You don't use chairs when you use uh, scanners, mineral scanners, long range scanners, anything like that. Chairs aren't factored into that, so. Um, yeah, not really a point to installing chairs for those. Uh, these fermenting barrels. I don't know. I could put them over here. This area stays warm enough. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to turn this spot here into a deep drill scan spot. Was the question, have I ever used the circadian, um, not the, there's two circadian prosthetics, the half cycler. Uh, I have used half cyclers, but you basically need to pair half cyclers with um, with luciferium or with like a lot of other drugs because of the consciousness loss, which causes everything to go lower. So I have done it, but 
it's something that you got to be careful about doing because if you're not careful, you end up um, lobotomizing your own characters, your own pawns, which is not great. So once Glitch gets up to 70% and he's about 50 now, so maybe tomorrow sometime, I'll send the caravan back to go join Mallet, who's closing in in about a day's time to the further target of the happiness campsite. Just, uh, does that not have a roof? Oh, is this outdoors? No, it's a room. I don't know why it keeps decaying, but let me shrink it down so it stops. Viper's still butchering some of the people that tried to raid him, and it is becoming a mess, an untenable mess. With a lot of human leather here, too. But he just keeps butchering. Guess it's fine. Uh, caravan to the mine corruptors. Oh, for a neuro f Oh my goodness. Uh, so it's a caravan to mine corruptors, which is right here. And all they want is human leather, which, um, I have so much of. And the rewards are, so I'm not even going to ask if I accept it. I'm just going to ask what should my rewards be? So what rewards to accept for this quest? One, two, or don't vote three. That would be disappointing, but one, two, or three. So, as a little reminder, uh, Mallet is a Psycast level four. And Trustin, thanks for gifting out to Banlish. I, I totally blanked on that. And Malcapion, thank you for the follow. So, so Mallet is uh, Psycast level four. Uh, jumping up to level five will give him access to really powerful Psycasts like Farscape and uh, Berserk and stuff like that. So, the rewards for a Neuroformer are kind of incredible. Um, in fact, I am going to have him pivot. I'm going to have him enter the trade outpost and go get that stuff. Because having two far skippers is going to be incredibly powerful. Because that's a skip there and a skip home. Uh, up until now, I've had to basically do the skip there and not the skip home. So the wards here, as you can see, is number one. It's a Masterwork LMG, a legendary double bed. Which reminds me, actually, I have to reassign the beds. Uh, because they're... All wrong. I have not installed that mod, if you're wondering. Amber Zeli, and then this is Leb and Barbara. And then we have a new couple, which is Ducks and... Apolius. Uh, which I will build a bed for. With Raptor. Uh, royal bed. At that. Um, so yeah, the quest. Sorry. Uh, and then number two is Jade, Lotial Pack, Shirt, Neuroformer. Number three is just Goodwill. It's um, definitely the weakest of the three choices. As Goodwill usually is. Uh, Bloodsoak Jade is a mod I made that makes Jade red. That's all it does. Doesn't change any stats. You don't make it red. It's just red by default. So, and that's that's on the workshop, as I'm sure you read. All right, quest number two. Check. How much does 350? How much does that weigh? Okay, it's it's um, 340 only weighs 10 kilograms. That means uh, Malik can just carry it himself. He doesn't even need animal help or whatever. So I'm going to get that done before I do this next raid, I think. Because that's going to be awesome. So raid two settlements, host prison. I wish I had more room. I just am out of characters. But running this trade is going to be pretty amazing. So here's the the next healing enhancer, and this is going to go to last. Just kind of do it in a left to right order.
then you probably don't want Eli operating on you. Unfortunately, Eli's the only one up right now, so you get the doctor on duty, and hopefully you don't eat your kidneys. Hey, you left your kidneys intact. He must like you. So the reason I left these spots open is for the Grand Pen Scanners, which I will set two up. Repurposing this room uh, for scanning. Unfortunately, what that means is uh, my bedroom is a little colder than I'm used to, so... Oh, wow. Raptor Talon, you only made a... a... That's not a very high-quality bed. Well, oh well. Can't all be winners. Ooh! Really? Well, at least everyone's home. Yeah, what is this? They just box themselves in? So they have a sun blocker for initiating in 13 days. They have a high shield, so no mortars unless we EMP it. Um, the obvious weakness to this is that they've walled themselves in in a, in a way that it makes it really easy to deal with this raid. Um, I don't see any mortars. Their printers are both centipedes, but I'll have time to rip them up. Uh, yeah, I think I just want to immediately start shredding them. Glitch has enough side focus to berserk. I could Neuroquake, but I don't think it's worth it. You want me to madness? Yeah. Should I? Oh, actually, that might not even be an option. Um, let me check the cost of a madness. It might require a uh, Plasteel. Nope, just uranium and advanced components, and I do have enough advanced components. Should I... Madness. Yes or no? And, uh, I can always just make one in reserve. Uh, because I don't want long recovery times, I'm going to schedule everyone inside and play this a little safer than I normally would with just sniper rifles and the like. Uh, so Raptor, let's get these equipped. Cali. Apolius. Islotus. Marauder. The whole group. There we go. So they all get snap rifles. Did I make the madness? Oh, Treader just like. I need material. What material do I need? Steel, uranium components, advanced components. I got all that. I'm staring at a giant stack of event. Oh, because one of someone was grabbing it. No, still. I don't need materials. What are you talking about? Am I really that low on? No, I'm not that low on steel. Not even close. Is someone else? Someone else must be making it. I just they haven't. I don't know what's going on. Uh, so here's what I'll do: suspended and make with Tretter. Unsuspended. So now, I... Nope, still, it's same materials. Okay, you guys obviously want a madness. Uh, I just... I'll figure out what's going on with this madness in a second. It's uranium? No, I mean, I have... 1100 uranium... It's best stockpile, it's any ingredient radius. I have the steel, yes, I have the uranium, yes, I have the components, yes, I have the advanced components, yes. I, uh...
I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. The uranium is not inside the inside zone. That's what's going on. I got it. That's really a, a misnomer of a... It's it's not that I didn't have the ingredients. Is that I don't have access to the ingredients. That's kind of a very different thing. Um, okay, so the madness is done. Uh, let's go and set up our shooters to get ready for the shooting. Thank you for that. Pesky, you solved it. So here's the madness. Uh, Chiretter. Let's have you use it. Something tells me you want some action like that. So there is a, uh, there is obviously the proximity sensors that are going to go haywire when I get close. So invisibility is going to be required. Animals, to the ranch. Thank you. Everybody else is sitting inside. Uh, I have no idea what their, their mech totals are be, are be, will be, but we'll figure that out. My shooters are going to be one sniper range away from sniping. Uh, the other thing is, I don't know why I left Slast out of this. Slast, go join. I could mortar them, but I have all my shooters shooting, so I guess there's not going to be mortaring. I can enter from the right side. I could. But, uh, I'm not worried about it, because I'll be skipping and stuff. Okay, so we're about one away. Proximity sensors don't, aren't picking me up, because I'm invisible. I have to time this well. Oh no, there it goes. Uh, so there's drops landing on me. Slash, go the other way. The drops are inside of my... Uh, let's back up a little bit. Throw it! And someone down here, is there a, uh, stalker? No, Slast is the stalker and he's taking his time. Uh, Treader, you better jump again. I think south is safer than north. Glitch. I'm gonna have you jump this way. Madness should go off now. Anytime now. Alright, Treader, you're gonna go get a sniper rifle and join us, because you want to join us, I know. From experience. <laughs> wow! That was just an incredible amount of destruction. Very, very, very gone. Very, very, very gone. Madnesses are just not fair. Um, but whatever. All right, let's dip around the corner so the pikemen stop shooting at me and get uh, Slash to rejoin because that marksman command is going to be really, really helpful. Yeah, that they got. Uh, that was just uh, just pure extinction. That was awesome. All right, so now I got my brawlers, I got my shooters, and uh, we'll make a good faith attempt to clear this out. Treader might have a little bit of a hard time trying to get back to us because they're gonna camp the doors a little bit, but he'll just stand in there and wait uh, until they're they're gone. Uh, the printers are gone, so like, yeah, there's no more threat. It's basically just kill mechs at this point.
You weren't talking about the AUG. Uh, you were talking about the double scheduling. I don't usually do that either because it's more uh, effort than it's worth in most cases. And then on top of that, it, depending on your light preference, um, you only are productive during your waking hours, right? And it's harder to be productive at nighttime due to the light score uh, penalties. So I generally don't have non-night uh, owls working at nighttime because they suffer, um, you know, light level penalties. So that's uh, that's one of the reasons why I don't do that. I don't think Treader, Treader, you're not gonna be able to uh, join us. You just you just aren't because they're sitting at the door, and I'm already being chased down. Uh, let's actually jump once. Hey, Dirt Golf. Welcome to a stream. All right, so now I don't have them on top of me. Oh, someone shot Fang Face. All right, let's try to isolate the Scythers so they're not in my face. Get rid of the Lancers. Are they? Oh, they're damaging the uh, the monument, so I might actually suffer a uh, sunblocker, which is funny because they came with a sunblocker, so it'd be double sunblocker. Yep, there it is. Sunblocker's coming in. Celeste, why aren't you shooting at anything? Fire at will. Oh, you're vomiting. Are you? Yeah, you're a woozy. Okay, you're vomiting. Got it. I was wondering why it looked like it was just standing there. Berengar, thank you for the follow. So Mal is at the trade outpost. He is going to unload his inventory, and then I'm going to turn him back around and have him go deliver the leather for that trade. Uh, I get. Oh boy, I didn't notice this. They broke in. Hey, glitch. Can we? All right. So let get out of the way so they don't keep setting things on fire. Well, we'll have to fix that. Uh, so let's finish this fight up quickly. Sending Glitch down here to get rid of the mechanoids that broke in. And let's close this plasteel door. So, Zleb, go around the outside and close the door. I should have left it closed. It's gross. Um, this is where Chaos Skip comes in handy. Because you can Chaos Skip things through walls. Unfortunately, I just Chaos Skip things on top of me. Um, I'll fix that in a second. So the other centipede went where? I don't know where the other centipede went. I'm not really worried about the pikemen. I'm going to leave the pikemen for now. So let's take a step in, drop a water, and then Chiretter. I'm gonna have you jump so it doesn't get to shoot at you. Where'd that centipede go? Was it this one? I honestly don't even know. All right, so glitch, you put that fire out. You teleport the same twice. Oh, okay. Well, I just I just want them out of the base, so I don't really care where they end up going. Shredder, hide from the the mech. Got it. Um, interesting. All right, so definitely let's go red. Uh, Queen Anne's Revenge, the pirates, uh, just attacked my other base, so double the fun. Uh, let's get you out of here. That didn't help again. Hmm. I'm just gonna keep... Maybe I'll beckon. Come with me. Alright, Zleb. Close this. And melee. Come on. Come on, Senties. 
Come with me. All right, I'm gonna send my brawlers to go deal with the uh, the centipede that just refuses to leave. Uh oh, Zlebi. You over here. I like being able to compel them to move around. It's pretty funny. So now that I've, uh, I don't have, I have a sun blocker. I might as well destroy this thing because I'm not being paid for it anymore. Glitch. Uh oh, hang in. There's lep. You jump here, and we'll have the brawlers deal with uh, this centipede in a second. I've basically nullified all the damage that it could do. And we'll just swarm in a second once we get inside. Uh, you guys need a target, so you head over this way. Uh, ooh, we're getting shot at. Oh, and yes, you guys are fighting, aren't you? So, both of you jump. And I'll have to manage two fights. So, these look like a bunch of brawlers. It's just not that annoying. Let's uh, do another beckon compel. Um, let's see, I can start shooting at this pikeman. What's left? We have a centipede and that's it. So the Queensland Revenge is leaving because they were outmatched devastatingly and all that's left is steroid. We'll get him in just a sec. Alright, bye-bye, Centipede. You're dead. Very, very, very dead. Uh, check in the enemy tab. We've got two pikemen left. One west, one south, a scyther north, and then the two centipedes that I already know about. This one is uh, trying to find a way to break into our stuff. So let's go absolutely massacre this pikeman and uh, and then the brawlers. Okay, yep, the brawlers are freed up. Let's have the brawlers go um, against that centipede. Well, mm, maybe not these two. Or, yep, not these two. I have other tasks for moles and Eli. Okay, all of these are dead, and then Mallet, you heal up yourself. Uh, you are going to spend a night here, so once you're done, pop a bed down, and then tomorrow I'm going to have you go do the trade deliver. Okay, Brawlers are closing in. Treader, you're on draft. Uh, you two head to this wall. Well, that one was easy to kill. Barbara, how are you doing? A little bruised. I'm going to have you not jump into this next fight then. You broke a slate wall. The punishment is, uh... I'm going to boop your brain until your brain don't exist. Bosperon, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the madness. All right, you missed. No, you didn't miss. Good for you. I would have thought them threading the needle wouldn't worked. Oh, an exotic goat's coming in now. Eli, turn around. Moles is a terrible place to have a snack. All right, so the pikeman is dead. Uh, if my numbers are not incorrect, that's the last of them. Yep, that's the last of them, because the Scyther is gone. Uh, moles bait out the fire. Come on, bait out the fire. And then let's close the distance, because those are the only two turrets. Yep, 
And now we're inside minimum distance, they can't shoot me. And they're gone. Mech cluster. Destroyed. Oh! Uh, a free way to get inside my kill box maze. That's fun. Unrestrict all. Because we're finished. I mean, we're effectively finished. Uh, sure. Okay, Eli got his hand shredded a little bit. But we'll heal you up. I tried to jump them out of time, it didn't work. Because it was a double explosion. Mech cluster's gone. And let's not let my wooden thing burn. So we'll put that out. Although it is snowing, so perhaps it goes out on its own. And there you have it! <clears throat> a free way to get uh, Plasteel. Plasteel delivery. Thank you, storyteller. Hey! Barbara's grandson is here. Cool. Two raids at the same time, like it was nothing. Yeah, I should have kept that door closed. I thought I wouldn't need to, but then they busted the other one. Oh well. I survive. Plasdeal will be a welcome treat, though. So, Eli, have you been... No, you have not been tended to. Alright, Raptor, instead of building that door, tend to Eli. <laughs> Cooked can... Oh, you are cannibals. Oh, I guess I'm being good to you, then. I thought I was being extra cruel, but I'd be wrong. And Terrator preach help to Eli. As he is the most hurt. Uh-oh, ferals are leaving. Yep, it's getting too cold. I said there are only a caravan or two left, and uh Who do I trade with? Who's the where's their trade leader? I don't see the uh the question mark anywhere. They obviously didn't le oh Kirby, there you are. Get over here, Kirby. I almost hit a rest. That'd be a, kind of a problem. So I desperately need Plasteel, and they only had 75 of it, so that sucks. Uh, I'll buy the advanced components, the regular components, because that is... I don't really need the regular components. I have 172 of them. Uh, an architect arm. Always nice. More triple launchers. And... Hip is Naz. Thank you for the sub. And Martin, thank you for the follow. I'm going to sell some gold. Cover some of the cost. I, I don't really need 1,400 gold. I don't really need a psychic animal pulser because there's never animals here. Looks to me like I need to make more high explosive shells. I'm pretty low. Selling off the packs of survival meals that are uh, not meat. And... That's about it. I already have a TV, I don't need one. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. Big trade. Uh, Architect Arm. Who, who should get the Arco Arm? Brawlers or Smiths? It's good for, good for both. All right, Callie, this is not exactly your bed. <laughs> good try. So ducks, this is, uh, ducks and Apollo, this is your bed. So Apollo, let's have you move it. No, Callie, you don't get to sleep there. Callie keeps stealing the double beds, like you're entitled to it. So this is Apollius and Ducks. 
long overdue. Now there's a ton of construction work to be had. Killbox maze is repaired, door is repaired. And the monument is getting torn down. Shellball just gave birth. So we got a giveaway to pair up with the uh, the pole. And I'll put a timer on that pole. Mallet seems like he's done sleeping. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So Mallet's going to go ahead and uh, turn in the Neuroform request. I'm so excited about that because getting another Farscaper is amazing. So it's going to be a little bit until... Um, until I'm ready to do resume the attacks. Uh, so that would be 340 human leather. That's the number to remember. Wasn't sure if it was 340 or 390. I only have 300 human leather? What? No, I don't. Oh, really? You need me to put this in a stockpile? That's obnoxious. All right, that's about Caravan Max. Send. And... You're gonna be unhappy because you're eating non-cannibal pemmican, but, uh... Yeah, it's fine. You're gonna become almost as strong of a Psycaster as your pops. Uh-oh, there's, uh, there's a wake-up here. <laughs> there's a lot of wake-up here. Oh, man, um... I don't want my only warden, uh, killing himself. That would be pretty bad. Wake... Oop. Wake up. So I'm gonna have... Viper stockpile the wake up where he can't access it so that he can't kill himself. I don't really care about the ambrosia. Eating nine ambrosia is probably not even going to cause an addiction. But wake up, that's a different matter. Uh, also, smoke leaf joints. You know what? Actually, this will just be drugs. Or drug zesty. And manufactured drugs will go here. And then I'll remove your access to it. Uh, except for Luciferian. I need you to gain, to retain access to your own Luciferian. So, the pole, Smiths should get it. Uh, Toretta, you are going to get... Eh, I'm just going to give it to uh, Apollius, because Apollius only has one arm, so that's just one surgery instead of two. All my smiths need to switch their guns back, though. That thing's for sure. So, Toretter, let's fix that. Where are they? There they are. Okay, get that done. The eye for Viper is getting made now. Ooh, puppy treats. Don't worry, I'll, I'll move the smoke leaf as well. I'll be cleaning up the whole, the whole uh, drug pile here, and then restricting your access to it, which is good because you're already doing drugs. I might even remove your. You know, I'm gonna let's leave you tea and beer. 
an ambrosia. No, I'm going to move the ambrosia because I need to keep it frozen. Hmm. Okay, be, be, uh, be, be, those drugs are fine. But we don't need you smoke leafing yourself so that you can't defend yourself because you're so high you have no fight left in you. That'd be pretty funny, but, uh, but not great. Then the Ambrosia, and we'll be safe. And this is the raffle timer, so good luck with the Bisons. And it's Zack the Terror. A good name for a little, little Bison. <laughs> Go terrorizing, little man. So I don't have enough plasteel to start ship reactoring. What takes priority? The reactor or the healing enhancers? I only have plasteel for one of those two things. We're starting to ground pen scan here, obviously, as you can see. Um. I'm just gonna not even bother heating that area. It's a foregone conclusion. I might as well just heat the bedroom. We also, uh, lest I not forget, we have this uh, sunblocker. I almost forgot. And I was like, oh, why is my power so bad? So our power is basically out. Um, let me send a hit squad for the sunblocker. So... Cowley... I'll just fill a few pods. So, Cowley, Fangface, Barbara, Ducks, Marauder. I'm not really thinking about who I'm sending, I'm just sending some people. I don't know if any of you are Lucy addicts, but I'll send one Lucy with you too. Go murder those sunblockers, because uh, that's going to cause a bit of a problem. So, for right now, what I'm going to do is um, turn off all of the hydroponics to go into sort of a sleep mode. Harvest all the hydroponics. Force force harvest all the hydroponics so it doesn't get killed off, or the least amount of it possible, just to keep the power on. And we'll go get the sunblocker out now. All right, you guys say healing enhancers. So let me update. Mm, there's not enough space. Raid. Twice. Make, heal, and host prison. That is the best I can do up top. So we've got 10 travels and perhaps maybe an unexpected surprise. I don't think I have any... Yeah, I don't have any Lucy people here. So let me just pick it up. Fenyogs, thank you for the follow. Welcome. So five on ten. Sucks to be them. Best approach here, I would say, is... Maybe this chunk group. I think what I should do is hook up dead power to turn off the scanners, because the scanners are a lot of power. And that might bring the, the lights back on. Alright, here we go. Here's the, here's the raid. These tribals aren't even really attacking me, they're just kind of standing around like idiots.
I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the um, Ancient Rune tank is probably my best cover. Yeah, 50% and almost undes- You know, can't destroy it. Indestructible. This is just so much hit points. Yep, they didn't even land a shot. Uh, maybe I butchered these guys. Do I have a cook here? I do. Uh, Fangface is a cook. Good. So, yeah, I'll butcher them. Make them eat. Uh, brawlers, let's go into the... Sunblocker. Get the, get the light back on. Which is weird, because we obviously worship darkness. Well, not ideologically, but... Lore-wise, we're definitely... The Night Stalkers. Um... Sunblocker begun. And then a dump stockpile so that we can butcher. And it looks like we'll be butchering with wood. Cool. Let's break down these things for a wooden butcher table and stick the fresh corpses here. And then we'll just see if we can't carry everything home. Polius, you survived your surgery. Potentially, maybe even in the dark. I'm going to keep all the farms offline until uh, my batteries have bounced back. Because I think, uh, I think that's probably wise. I meant to do a wooden butcher table. There we are. I carpeted up the scanner room so the cloth from the sandbank wouldn't be terrible either. And the cloth from the bed rolls. Let's allow all. Get these butchered. There is a torch nearby that will be useful. Am I playing... So, if you ever have a question about what I'm playing, my the games I play are determined by popularity polls. So, if it wins in the polls, yes. If it doesn't win the polls, no. It's pretty much how every game that I ever play on the channel works. So, power starting to, starting to trickle back. Um, there might be enough good weather for one more caravan this season and then everything else will have to be me bringing it to them rather than the inverse thank you for tuning in to wendigos which originally streamed live on twitch december 26th if you have any feedback or questions for me let me know in the comments below if you would like to catch a live stream of mine rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams thank you so very much for watching and a special thank you to all of my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. Happy holiday season to you all, and I hope to catch you next stream or an upcoming episode. Farewell.